Welcome back everyone who's here to New One Crisis here and today we're gonna be playing some more you can see it up here Grand Prix World 2001 we are on the 2003 season I, I think I already made this complaint uh, in the 2002 season but we're not gonna keep going with it so round two has concluded and we're third in the Constructors Championship which is very good we could have had a few more points had Let's go to the driver's standings. Had Fernando Alonso not had a DNF due to a part failure, I don't know, a mirror fell off or something. And he's just seventh now instead of the fourth he should be. We should have a 4-5 in the driver's standings, but bad luck happens. Right now, Michael is leading. It's going. It's looking like it will be a fight between Michael, Fisichella, and Coulthard. So between both Ferrari drivers and David Coulthard. I hope either Ferrari driver wins because I still have not forgiven DC for taking out uh, Matakane that one time in Canada. In Yeah, it was in 2001. I have not forgotten. I will not forget. I will not forget about it, Crichton. Anyway, um, last time around, Jardo truly scored a point, and that should be the big story of the previous episode. Not that Michael won. No, 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 no. No one cares about that. But truly, a minority with a point. I mean, are they being qualified? That's the stories we want to hear. Anyway, Ferrari leading the constructors, Michael leading the drivers, and Ferrari leading the FIA funding ranking. We are third. We should get third or best because last season we finished like fifth and we're only getting 11.5 million. And I'm hiring a bunch of people that's going to be a bit more expensive, like. Over here, Willie Ramp is 3.5 million, Duran is less than a million, so expenses will increase. Same with like Gavin Fisher, 2 million. Well, it's not that massive of an increase. And as for mechanic, I'm still looking for someone. I have not made offers here. I legitimately forgot I had to do this. <laughs> Alright, um. Let's, let's, let's. Let's see Giles. Let's first give him a million. Let's see if that convinces him. 40k in ra for race bonus and 350k for championship bonus. He's not gonna like it because it's two years. Yeah, he likes everything else except the fact that it is two years. We'll see about that at some other point. Hmm. Let's try to get Pagliarini because it's gonna be cheaper. And he's not gonna ask for much. Salary not high enough. Okay, I'm not gonna send any more offers for now. That was not planned. I thought I took care of it, of everything in between sessions, but no. Anyway, testing, I did 138 miles, 15% setup, and 42% research. 90, 10, and 20, 80 for Bordeaux. This is the usual setup that I usually run. Got full setup and got full research. I invested research, got three points in design, so I'm gonna put 62%, get two bars here and do finish and go into CFD simulation. Remember, the rule I have is that you add your current designer, three, plus the facility rating, which is two, you get five. That's a progress you're allowed to use here. In the other ones, I'm gonna be using just three. The car is not gonna be that good, but the challenges will be higher. And if we come back to win the championship in 2004, that's going to be a great story. Also, I'm working on an upgrade for the 2003 car as well. Also working on throttle performance. I need to work on suspension reliability so I can push a curb usage or off-racing line a bit more. And driving aids, I'm increasing traction control. I should be working on power brakes eventually and on active suspension as well. Because all those aids, they really help us. Uh, nothing here. Kept all of my resources on Marlboro, on um, Renault, and some resources on Michelin. Remember, we need this work still because we need to improve our, our tires. The current Michelin soft tire is terrible. Terrible. And we need to make it better. Anyway, as for this race, I tried something different. I'm going to be trying to... I'm going to give Alonso the soft tires and he's going to be on a two-stop, while Bernoldi is going to be on a one-stop. 
It's going to be in a slightly extended one stop, like 38, 39, 40 laps, because the soft tire cannot do it. And I have put a bunch of win points into the ratings for the simple reason that this reduces fuel consumption plenty. I could have used grip. In fact, I use grip on Alonso, but win has more of an effect. As for orders, this one goes up to nine. This one, actually, I, I jack this all up. Jack this all up because we're going to go into qualifying. I don't need to have these ones down for qualifying. For qualifying, they they have to be up. Confirm those orders. Setup has been confirmed already. Assembly has been confirmed. Practice suspension? Sure. Actually, does anyone have any power brakes around here? Where is it? There. Uh, Williams has power brakes. Let's see if we can steal those power brakes. Power brakes increase your ability to overtake and defend. I'd really like that. Right, so let's get in there. Thank you, airplane, for I, I live somewhat close to an to, to, to an airport, so that's why you keep hearing airplanes coming and going. So, Argentina, which we don't run at anymore. 21 degrees, high wind speed, that's something that's gonna benefit us since we have high, very high wind rating. If this wind speed is very high for the race, it's going to be absolutely lovely. We're going to see very good performance from our boys, I think. So, soft tires from Alonso, hard tires from Bernoldi. Bernoldi is the one that's going to show us how good our car really is this time around. Let's get in there. McLaren front row lockout. This is starting to sound like the Mendoza career, man. So David Coulthard puts it on the pole by a significant two freaking tenths to Mark Webber. And that's two tenths to his main rival, Michael Schumacher. And that's another tenth, well, half a tenth, to Giancarlo Fisichella. Just McLaren, Ferrari, just in another dimension compared to everyone else. Here you have Barrichello, two tenths away from Fisichella in fifth. Bringing five tenths behind Kulhar, like, Jesus Christ. Kulhar put down an amazing lap, I have to give it to him. So you have Alonso here doing a very un Alonso, at, at least a very un Alonso modern thing of leaving his best lap as last, but he did the very Alonso thing of qualifying sixth, you know, around the uh, P7 sphere, which is better like him. Bit Spanish, over Raikkonen as well, then you have Montoya in 9th, De La Rosa 10th, and Bernoldi on the hearts is 11th. This is, the, this is the actual positioning of the car. This is as good as it can actually go on a good day. Uh, better positions only occur due to strategy or due to tire, like as it happened with Alonso. Well, Alonso is also a better driver, so there's also that. 7 tenths between them, so I mean... Here is the rest of them, in case I forget. Minardi, I don't think they're going to do that good this time around. But, you know, they're going to try. Very dry. It's going to be high wind speed and very low temperature. Just, it's just 16 degrees. I'll take it, though. Tires won't overheat. So, Fernando, I'm going to put you on... A 20 lap stint, exactly the same as the AI. AI is locked with uh, 21, 20, 21, 22 laps of fuel at the start of every race. Hmm. As for after that... Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. A short first stint, a long middle stint, and a fairly short final stint as well. This one so we have a good start, this one so we can overcut people later, and this one so that we have pace. Ronaldi is going to be a fairly simple, nothing dramatic, it's going to be 38 laps of fuel and then 34 laps of fuel, set 5 and set 6 that should work for him, although considering I'm using hearts I could go a bit longer and then 32 laps, that should be fine 
the 36 36 is probably a bit faster but i want to overcut people i'm fighting for track position here okay everything is set up so let's get into this race and uh electricity uh, there was a blackout earlier today so i do i don't expect any blackouts after i start this race so nothing should be ruined this time around first save the game as usual as usual and lower race speed as well good okay and give me some acceleration so that the boys maybe can jump over someone maybe okay let's see can you boys do it what can we get? Jensen Button Fall starts. Fernando Alonso goes up to fourth. Bernoulli drops a few places. That's 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 pretty upsetting, but that's okay. Who did we beat off the line? We beat Michael and we beat uh, Rubens. Nice start. Maybe we can get Weber as well. Okay, or maybe not. There's not that many overtaking spots after this uh, after after this area. The only one that happened is when Weber, I think, overtook Physica. Oh, never mind, they're overtaking spots everywhere on this track. Now Fernando Alonso is third. I don't know anything about this game, apparently. <laughs> Which sounds about right. Bernoldi got into a whole bunch of trouble because he's heavy, he's chunky, and he's going to be slow for the initial part of this race. And the middle part, but. Since he's gonna pit only one time, it's not that big of a deal. Please, mouse. Please. So that he doesn't consume any more of the of the brakes than he has to. Jensen Button pits. Not a good start for the for the Briton. As for Bernoldi, I want to see Bernoldi now. I want to focus on Bernoldi. He needs to pass that that what's that? An arrows. He needs to pass that arrows. And Alonso, Alonso's actually having some solid pace. There he goes, he passes the arrows. That was... Uh, Frensen. Frensen, it was Frensen, okay. Uh, Alonso is going to get overtaken by those Ferraris whenever they actually get on with it, because, as we all know, those Ferraris are faster than our Prost. But if Alonso keeps ahead of them throughout his entire first stint, I don't mind. Like... I won't complain about that. Same with Bernoldi. If he can, can climb back up to 11th, I won't complain. Okay, so it is Coulthard, Weber, Alonso, Michael, uh, Fisichella, then Raikkonen, Barrichello, Bar uh, Raikkonen with a Barrichello with a terrible start, I have to say. Uh, after that, you have oh no, they are uh, Barrichello, Raikkonen, and then Panis. Panis may score a point here today. I want to see Alonso. Yeah, he's gonna get overtaken by those Ferraris, but it, it's fine. We're just looking to get some points, and since it's the top eight that get points, we Alonso, please, no mistakes, not like that. Don't lose the position stupidly. He's gonna lose the position stupidly. I'm pretty sure. And lap three. Ah, uh, yeah, there he goes. There he goes. Maybe we can fight back. Maybe we can annoy the Ferraris a bit. Maybe we can. No, no, we cannot. Okay, I'll cut the recording and I'll talk to you later when things get more settled down. So the current update as we reach lap 20 is that Michael Schumacher DNF because of brake issues and the Williams decided to crash into each other Clear the way for Alonso to be a bit more relaxed. He's, he's definitely not relaxed at all because Giancarlo Fisichella, let me switch to Alonso view. Giancarlo Fisichella there has been harassing him for the entirety of this stint. Alonso has been able to somewhat keep up but not get close to Weber and DC. But, I mean, we didn't expect him to and now he's going to pit which is always scary because it means the pit crew is gonna put his hands on the car and you know how that usually goes maybe it goes well we have no issue or maybe it goes bad and he ends up behind Bernoldi also he set his tires on fire but it doesn't really matter because because it is a what am I thinking it doesn't really matter because it is a two-stop strategy 
but on this thing he cannot set them on fire otherwise we're screwed also i think vernoldi is a bit screwed because yeah the the, the one sub didn't quite work here look at the gap between those two men anyway alonso is on the on the edge of the points so he should be able to finish on the points assuming no uh, car issue also i think Crichton Squarehead is going to win this race, so he's going to take the lead of his championship. Good for him. And I shall point out that a lap after Alonso pitted, in went freaking Giancarlo Fisichella. He went right in, and now he managed to overcut him. <laughs> and now we're not going to catch him ever again for the simple reason that we're on a Prost and he's on a Ferrari. So there's that. Good strategic work by the AI. However, I think Oliver Panis is going to be ahead of Fisichella. Probably both Benettons and one of the BARs. So if we force Ferrari to do this, I think that's a win. What the hell did I say? Look at Panis just managing to overcut everybody in this little bunch. Now who is number 22? Now I think Juan is going to beat and he's going to overcut all of us. It's going to happen. Just watch. And Juan Montoya went ahead. I did exactly what I said he will do. Now he's leading this train. This train has basically inverted. Now the only one that remains is... Okay, Weber did pit a moment ago. The only one that remains is De La Rosa. So De La Rosa pits. Cool her now it's pitting. De La Rosa is going to pit. He's going to be ahead of this group. And the prophecy is going to be complete. The train is going to have completely inverted. You know, I kind of want to see that. I kind of want to see the train being completely inverted. There he goes. Now, will he be ahead of Mon Okay, I don't think he will be ahead of Montoya. Maybe he will be ahead anyway? He might be. No, he's not going to be ahead of Montoya. So the train will not completely invert. He ends just ahead of Fisichella. So, yeah, not a complete inversion, but it was very, very close. So, um, I slightly extended the conditions of the half race report just so I could get to Bernoldi's top. So now I can talk about the current race situation, which is David Coulthard leads from Mark Webber, and that's 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 everything that's not going to change. Giancarlo Fisichella is third. I think he's gonna finish third. Then you have Panis. Then you have Alonso, who managed to carve his way past a few of these fellows. Uh, then you have. Let's see, De La Rosa, Montoya, then Bernoldi, although Bernoldi is going to go into the pit, so then you are going to have... Maybe Ralf Schumacher is going to pass. Yeah, maybe, just maybe, no, yeah, he's going to pass. You're going to have Ralf Schumacher, then Stefan Sarasan, no, Sarasan is behind Bernoldi, okay. Bernoldi is going to finish 8th at the very least, I think, I hope. He should be able to keep up with, with, with Ralf Schumacher. Anyway... Uh, who else we have? We have Alessi in 11. Uh, you have the Jordans, 12 and 13. Then you have the other Sauber. Then you have the Minardis. And you have the Jaguar. The Jaguars are completely useless, man. And Frensen blew his engine. That's the only other notable retirement that we've had so far. So the current situation is that uh, Bernold is probably going to finish 8 uh, at best. Uh, well, that depends. If there's any other DNF then he will finish 7th or something like that. But he should finish 8th with absolutely no problem about that. As for Alonso, he is 5th right now. Should finish at least that. But could finish better than 5th if these boys pit early like they did uh, the lap before. Uh, the lap before. The, 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 on the previous stop. And Alonso beats on lap 50 and overcuts them and then just holds them for, you know, for all he can. Which he absolutely can, but we just need to hope they pit early so that those conditions, so that we are ahead of them, at the very least. At least, I think we can finish ahead of Panis if things go right. But if not, P5 is... is a, it, I think we can finish P5. Maybe before... If chaos happens ahead and one of those boys DNF, maybe P3. But P3 on merit and pace, like beating Fisichella, I doubt it happens. 
and Panis went into the pits and he went later than I would have wanted to. The reason for that is that I wanted him to go very, very early, not on lap 49, so that I could get a decent um, a decent overcut on him. Now we're going to have a one lap uh, undercut, uh, overcut, which it's not going to be enough. It's not going to be quite enough. So we're going to see. We're going to see what, what, what happens here. I don't think it's going to be quite enough, but... Oh, yeah, I have to reduce this. I have to reduce this. I increased this just so that he had a bit more pace, but I need to lower that. Let's see. Okay, the pit crew had a perfect weekend. No issues whatsoever on the pit stops. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. We're not going to overcut Panis. No, we don't get Panis. But at the very least, we remain in fifth, and we have better tires than he's going to have for quite a while. So I'm, I'm not unhappy. I'm, I'm not unhappy. This is, this, is, this is fine. We will be fine. Boys, not only did Fisichella DNF, so that's a double DNF for Ferrari, but we did manage to catch and overtake Panis, which means we're now third. This was not what was in mind, this was not the plan, and I told you we were not getting third on pace, and we're not getting third on pace. Remember, both Ferraris DNF, both Williams DNF. Uh, by the way, Bernoldi did manage to get uh, to overtake uh, Ralph, so he was 8th, now he's 7th, in the end Ralph is also going to get a point, so Arrows gets points. But like I was telling you, Alonso was not going to finish 3rd on pace. Thanks to the double DNF of both Williams, thanks to crashing into each other, and both Ferraris due to mechanical issues, now Alonso is 3rd, which means we're going to have a nice haul of points, and it could be bigger if one of those two uh, McLaren's decides they're going to crash into someone else, which, you know, I, I definitely wouldn't mind. If they decide to crash into someone, that's going to be P2, and that's going to be awesome, but I doubt it. Okay, I'm going to start recording a bit earlier this ending of the race, because something interesting is happening. Mark Webber is getting closer to Alonso, and I'm not sure why. Could be Alonso flying? But he only has the 8th fastest lap. It could be that Weber has some sort of issue. And if he does, we just might be able to catch him. And if we do, it's going to be P2. Definitely not on pace. And for some reason, Australia, there's many... I mean, Nordy, get out of the way, please. Who are you? Are you Button or... It's truly. Look, man, I know you are Italy's hero, but you need to get out of the way. You're still a back marker, man. Thank you. So, for this specific moment, I'm going to increase off racing line to 10 for both drivers, at least when the time gets there. At least when, you know, Bernoulli gets here. And it's not going to matter much for him because he's not going to catch anyone else. But uh, you know what? Just, 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 just drop it to, to 7. But Alonso, he seems to be catching Weber. I'm not sure what's wrong with Weber. He's been getting a bit closer to Alonso for the last few laps. Maybe he's just, you know, saving, or maybe he's in trouble. Or maybe it's just my imagination and he always was there. But you know what? I'm going to start recording right away. So we know exactly what happens. Like, you got to take advantage of the, fa of, the of, of the fact I can record at any time. Let's see, he was 9 seconds away in the previous lap, this lap he is 7 seconds away, so he's bleeding time. Will we get there in time? I don't know. I don't know. Will he make it to the end of the race? I do not know, because at this point I'm pretty sure it is some kind of car issue. It's the only justification for us to be closing up this fast. Both of us are on low fuel, it, 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 the end of the race is 9. Like, the only thing that's sure right now is that David Coulthard is going to win this race. Just two laps to go, 
and Alonso is right there. He is right there. He's going to catch per a uh, Weber, if anything, at the on the final lap. On the final lap, he might be able to do some work. Maybe he's gonna catch him this lap. I do not know. But you know what? I'm I'm positive Weber has some problem and some issue. It's the only justification. Like he cannot be this slow. Now he's five seconds ahead. He's actually not five seconds ahead. It's just that this thing is glitched. But you know what? You know what? I know I don't complain. Let's just take the distance visually. Yeah, that's not five seconds. That's like two seconds at best. Weber is done. We're gonna pass him. David Coulthard enters his final lap. Maybe Bernoldi can finish on the lead lap. He's trying to race. Race Coulthard. Also, we did catch up to Weber. We're gonna finish P2 if Alonso can get this move done. Please stop lagging. You should not be lagging for any reason. Come on, man. Yeah, Weber, Weber, Weber might not even make it to the end. And Alonso, that. I was gonna say Alonso. Bernoldi is not gonna finish on the lead lap, sad, sadly. Has to let Coulthard through. Can we get Weber? We can. That's going to be P2. That's going to be P2 because Weber doesn't have the pace to catch up again. He's been bleeding so much lap time that we overtook him. Now, the big question for Weber is, can he actually make it to the end? He probably is going to get a podium. He's probably going to get a podium unless he DNFs. Because even if Panis gets a surge of pace, also get it, David Kluger won the race. Even if Panic gets a surge of pace, there's no overtaking spots here. He will only be able to overtake him on the main straight, and I don't think he's going to get him. But the question is, will Weber make it to the end? If he makes it, that's P3. If not, that's P3 for Panis and a DNF for Weber. Which is going to be sad because they're fighting Ferrari and they need every single point they can get. Whatever it's going to be, I think it's going to make it to the end. And Fernando Alonso is going to finish second in the Argentinian Grand Prix. This is absolutely not what I expected to happen. But I'm going to take it. Weber is going to finish P3 in the end. P4 will be for Panis. P5 for De La Rosa. 6 for Montoya. Bernoulli 7 and Ralph Schumacher 8. And whatever issue had Weber, it, 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 it did not make his car explode in the end. David Coulthard wins. Dang, was this race slow. An hour 49 minutes. This was a slow race. Fernando Alonso finishes second. Excellent job, although it was assisted thanks to many DNFs and shenanigans. Mark Webber finishes third. I'm pretty sure he had some sort of issue. He was nursing to the end of the race. Panish finishes fourth. De La Rosa fifth. Montoya sixth. And Bernoldi seventh with Rav Schumacher eighth. Everyone else was two laps down at the very least. The only other finishes were Marquez, Button, Truly, Verstappen, and that's it. Here is the rest of them. Here is a bunch of DNFs, man. Just bringing everyone. We had the, the Williams taking each other out. Alessia and Irvine taking each other out, which, yeah. Um, the Michael, Frensen, uh, Physical Lab, Matsakan, and Burti, and Sarasan getting all car issues. Just, just, just. Terrible day for the reliability, at least for some. And that's for the top teams as well, because whoever he had some sort of issue. David Coulthard now takes the lead of the championship by eight points. It's not an insurmountable lead. But the Ferrari men are going to have to work hard at it. Alonso now moves up to fourth ahead of Weber, who is now fifth. That's... that's. Look at that gap. That's disappointing, man. Bernoulli is sixth. Ralph Schumacher is with a point along with Trulli, so... Nearly everyone is qualified. Who is who is missing? Jaguar? Jaguar's missing. Williams is atrocious. Oh lord. Uh who's missing? I don't know. I'll, I'll you know what? Let's 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 satiate my curiosity. Curiosity. Jordan and Jaguar, okay. They are the worst team in Formula One right now. They are not there. There you are. Jaguar, Jordan, they are not there. But DC with the lead, Michael and Physical are going to have to work hard. Here is the rest of them. So, we made a loss. We finally make a loss, which is expected. Excessive war will fix that, don't worry. 
uh, stop complaining about setup time. You have all the setup time you could ask. Upgrade our internals and some spares. I know we need spares. Mission increase support. General general reduce support. It's it's okay. Uh, Marlboro, Michelin, we have the terms, it's okay. Renault progress, no one has progress, it's, it's, it's fine, it's fine. Great hospitality, no licensing, I don't care. Great result, or non-scoring card, which did score, did finish the race. So, it's fine. DC, wait a moment, because this is, this is, this is very important for me. DC had the fastest lap. But this thing right no, 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 no. It was not a grand slam because he pit and Weber led for a bit. So it's not a grand slam. But it was very close for DC. He could have had a grand slam. Alonso finished second. No, you cannot be looking for a win. We're not winning races, man. <laughs> not yet anyway. McLaren with a great race, both drivers to the podium. Benetton, both drivers in the top six. Enrico Bernal is happy with his car despite the fact that he pointed. Frensen is going to Arrows. We lost Stepney. I knew I should have offering that one year deal, but we lost Stepney. It'll be fine. So Frensen goes to Arrows. I need to start making the table to see who is going where. But I think Michael might not have a seat next year. Which, you know, can happen. Let me actually see. Let me actually see who... Has see okay, um, yeah, Ferrari is out. I think Michael Schumacher will not have a seat next year. Same with Villeneuve, or maybe they settle into test driver roles, which I'm not giving them. I'm not giving either of them a test driver role. They are too expensive. Anyway, where were we? Okay, um, now just show me my drivers. Alonso, please, no, um, give him more. I'm gonna give you a 100k race bonus and 400k, 500k championship bonus. Will you upset? That's Bernaldi, wrong guy. <laughs> Roll offers to Junior. Okay, have the the, 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 the offer for Bernaldi already, which I did not want. I'm gonna give him the same thing for the test driver seat as well. Okay, he's ready to assign either to a second driver role or a test driver role, which I can decide later on. Right, so, oh no, it wasn't, it wasn't okay, I, I, I confused myself. Sign Steven Giles, it was Steven Giles that we were going for. Welcome to the team, man. I hope to see very much improved mechanic performance in 2004, because Gibson has not done the job. Okay, let's start with commercial. Let's move some people up to average now. In design, it's fine. In engineering, move some more people up to average. Gonna get trainees down to 20. And move some more people up to average in mechanics. First get the trainees up to 20, then do anything else. There's a customer deal for Michelin's, we want better. Also, the Marlboro deal needs to start moving a bit quicker. Someone left us. We can at least start talking with uh, Lucky Strike again so that they are... Yeah, clear everything. So that they are a bit happier with us. Um, bring... maybe not Elf, but... I don't mind General. Bring Norto, I guess. As for here, I don't got any news, so there's nothing. But we can go right here and see whenever the they have designed something else. Uh, Renault has not designed a new engine just yet. No new tires either, which is annoying. Right, so what do I do now? Progress that. And put 29% is more than 29%. Okay, that's fine. Okay, 20% in efficiency, but that 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 that's gonna have to do. Now I need to put three blocks of CFT simulation while I work with everything else. So I'm gonna deal with that later. I need some spare parts. 
23 for a spare part that's not really efficient but I, I, i'm gonna have to gonna have to cope with it okay actually i'm gonna be able to build i'm gonna have six spare parts after after all is said and done which is a very solid number yeah six spare parts that will be fine i think in the end i'm gonna be able to build a factory at the end of the year which is very much what we need this time around I'm gonna do testing first, then I'm gonna repair the cars and I'm gonna make sure I can completely repair the cars so that the Brazil situation does not happen again. Don't think there's anything else I need to do down here for now at least. So gonna cut the recording, do my testing, do my adjusting, do my stuff and then come back to you. So see you in a moment. Right, so I'm back and I did my testing. The testing program was 185 miles, 6% setup, 28% research. That's 34% for testing. Everyone else were set to repair both cars. So now we're going to have clean cars for San Marino. We're not going to have any issues anymore. Uh, of course, the driver setup was 90-10, 90-10, 20-80. And the summary was that I got a full boatload of setup points, which are already deployed, and full research, but I'm not gonna use research until next year, until next year, until next round, so I can hurry up this design and get it on the car for Spain. And I'm not doing anything here so that I can use uh, the research, maybe to get two points here, then one point or three points, Whatever, I need to get three points for the CFD simulation. I don't want to overshoot that. I want to make this as accurate as possible, so I'm not gonna do CFD simulation on this one. So here's the distribution, 32% model design, 18% throttle, which we should get the throttle for next, uh, for, for Spain. And for traction control, like one level three, maybe we won't get it, maybe we will, I don't know. Also, we have understeer in fast corners, which will become an issue shortly. Also, uh, like I said, completely repaired all of the cars. As for here, I don't think I did not change much. Everything in here is as intended. Mm, I did my stuff already. I was considering just signing Bordeaux to the number two seat, like right now, but I decided to hold off on that. Again, he will be like uh, Alonso Light, but. Let's 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 just hold off. Maybe Alonso will be around. As for this race, I will be putting every single tarmac point on Alonso, two dust points on both guys. And the reason why so many tarmac points is that we have six speed. With six speed, that means this is a high speed track, and we have high speed understeer, which means our tires are going to explode, like literally just melt. We're literally gonna be one of the modern day Ferraris, just destroying the tires, or maybe one of the modern day Hasses, destroying the tires. So, for Alonso, I'm gonna give him tarmac points, and he's gonna be running a two stop strategy. Bernoldi, who doesn't have tarmac points, is gonna be running a three stop. I could put hards and run a one stop, but uh, we've seen that the hard tires are pretty terrible, so I don't want to use them. Even though the ratings are pretty similar between soft and hard, other than the resilience, they are terrible. I do not recommend. Um, let's just check this up because it's 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 just qualifying setup. Move this to six, then check this up as well. Confirm orders. Confirm the setup. Confirm the assembly. How good is our engine? Tens of heat. It's very good. We should be okay. The heat rating is not as good as Argentina, so I'm not going to be able to push the engine that hard. Let me see. How good the whole high was Argentina? No, not, not there. There. Yeah, it's pretty high. But I won't be able to do it this time around, but it's, 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 it's fine. It's fine. Anyway, let's get in there and see how qualifying goes. San Marino. So let's get in there. 2003. It's gonna. It's gonna be perf perfectly fine. Overcast. Average wind speed. 25 degrees. Okay. Boat on soft tires. This should be okay. All right. Let's get in there. 
So it will be a Michael Schumacher poll in Imola. Second will be Mark Webber. As you can see, DC did not have a particularly good day. So let's review that. Third will be Giancarlo Fisichella. Fourth, amazingly, it's Rubens Barrichello of Williams. Far away from the pole position, like, uh, uh, I was going to say half a second. Six tenths away from pole. Four thousands behind is Fernando Alonso once again, leaving his best lap for last. He qualifies fifth. Better than David Coulthard, who I don't know what happened to him, but just couldn't get the car working in qualifying. Seventh is Bernoulli, then you have the Benettons of De La Rosa and Panis, eighth and ninth. Raikkonen in tenth, I don't know what happened with him, just two tenths away from his teammate, nearly three. Then you have the rest of them here, you have the Arrows, I don't know what's happening with the BARs, they should be as good as us, but they are not. You have the uh, Sauber, the Jordans, the other Sauber, Minardi, and Jaguar. Just Jaguar cannot qualify to save its life. Or race for that matter. You know what? This 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 bunch is a particularly interesting bunch for a future series. But uh, if I'm going to do a future series on Grand Prix World. That's a fact. But I'd rather look into the 90s first. And then look into like 2004 or something like that. At least if I can get a 2004 mod patched up to, uh, you know, the performance 2001 has. So it'll be overcast, very low wind speed, so we don't have to care about wind speed. 25 degrees as well. Everything else is fixed because, of course, now Alonso will be running first 2019 laps. Then we'll be running 25 laps. I can risk it and go 25. And then that, let's just stretch that a bit, so it costs 24. And then a shorter 18 lap stint, set 5, 6, and 7, as you will imagine. Bernoldi is going to run 16, 32, 48. Three stops, because otherwise his tires will not make it. Again, I could have picked the hard tires and give him a... A one, st uh, a one stop, yeah, but no, they're terrible. And the one stop here, either, either it works or it doesn't, and I think it will not have worked for us. So I'd rather not do that. As you can see, I have tire set for fresh, not cropped, completely fresh. And the reason for that is that I use tire set number two twice in qualifying. That meant Bernoulli's third run was not that good, but his fourth run on the third set was was better. Anyway, you know what time it is, ladies and gentlemen? Let's get in there and see what happens. As per usual, save the game. Race speed down to 100%. Alright. Start pushing, start pushing, and start breaking hard, of course. Start breaking hard just for this lap. Let's see what the boys can do. Okay, both dropped a position. That's not the end of the world, and it's you know, it's what I expect on this on this on this race. Bernoldi dropping two places though. That's not ideal. Remember, he's on a three stop. He needs to get a move on. Now, 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 Enrique, please, Enrique, vamos, <laughs> please. Okay, Alonso does recover the place, but Bernoulli is stuck. I really need to start working on power brakes then, and brakes in general, because it's lower that acceleration. I'm still going to have the boys completely saving. What are you doing on third, my man? <laughs> oh, no. He, 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 he gambled for third. He lost everything. Dang it. He's sixth now, and Bernoulli is not going anywhere. He gambled for third, got sixth. Okay, now let's drop braking. Otherwise, they're gonna burn the tires. And remember, we have high speed understeer. We cannot afford to destroy the tires. Okay, back up to 100 or 10 or whatever. Let's see. Uh, Michael, I think that's Michael. Yeah, that's that. Yeah, Michael. Michael is gone. Maybe we won't see him ever again. He needs to win this race to at least get closer in the championship. Weber, no, not Weber, DC, DC is now second, so 
Starting position, as DC has just proven, it's, it's, it's a mid. It does not matter. Alonso right now is losing places, which is not great. Bernoldi is gaining some places back. But Alonso, I need to see him gain places, not lose them. Back to 6th. And Bernoldi down to 12th. Not great as a start. But it's gonna have to get better. Down, please. You cannot use up those tires. And you cannot use up those brakes either. Alright, into lap 3 now. I'm gonna cut the recording because things have stabilized a bit. Well... Mark Webber is still kind of there trying to annoy us. We're trying to catch a Williams and Bernoulli is not doing that great. But things are stable for now. So I'll see you later when Bernoulli has to pit. Actually, when both guys have to pit because I'm going to be able to put them both in a single recording. So you just wait for that. Right, so Montoya went into the pit. So there is a small chance or three stopping man Bernoulli can actually get ahead of Montoya, which in contrast to what happened last race, I will really appreciate. Bernoulli's pace has not been excellent. Uh, but as you can see, he's behind Alonso. Alonso, for his part, has been holding Weber and Bernoulli and Bernoulli and Montoya and everyone else behind him pretty effectively. Also held up Panis, with, oh, for whatever reason, is now behind Bernoulli, despite being like here all the time. In other news, Michael Schumacher let David Coulthard through, and now David Coulthard is probably going to win this race, so... There's that. Which is a bit disappointing for Ferrari, I'm sure. Also, Kimi Raikkonen is three-stopping for whatever reason. Okay, no one else is three-stopping, and the crew did not make a mistake. That's the very first thing that we needed to check out, that they did not make a mistake, I think... No, they're not going to. He is not going to be ahead. Oh, he is going to be ahead. Yes. The pit crew did their thing. And they are, um, we are now ahead of Juan Montoya, which is... You know what? It feels nice. It feels very, very nice. It was a seven... How, were, how are we ahead of Montoya? I'm pretty sure that one single solitary lap was not good enough to put him ahead. You know what? Stop complaining. It happened, it was awesome. Stop complaining, it happened, it was awesome. Okay. Now our only worry is the people right behind Alonso. Wait, who? Okay, he's fifth because uh, right on it. Okay, fine. Okay, Alonso's gonna be in a few laps. Might as well just keep this in a single recording. You know, ever since the pit crew got like. Improve morale, we haven't had a single pit stop error, I think. Maybe like a jack got caught or a car got stalled, but not other than that, no errors. Like the pit crew has been very consistent so far. And now I know that's a jinx. So we're gonna see the pit crew screw up when Alonso pits and Ronaldo is gonna finish ahead of him because that's how pit stops work. But I'm really impressed by the pit crew so far. And I'm also impressed by Alonso just completely... Let's switch the camera to him. Completely stonewalling Alonso uh, uh, Weber here. Physical a bit, so um, there's a chance we're going to finish ahead of him now. It's definite he's on a two-stop, so... I'm not positive we're going to be always ahead of him, but... After this pit stop, depending on how fast he is, we might end up ahead of him. He's still ahead of Raikkonen, and Raikkonen did gain some time, but... You know, there's a chance we might finish, we might end up ahead of Fisichella, which... You know what? I'll drink. Speaking of... Uh, speaking of Italians, here's the DNF list. You have Bertie, brakes issue, truly unfortunately, with... Skill issue and a lazy with a clutch issue. That's your DNF for now. Everyone's pitted now. Michael's gonna keep going. The only way he wins now is if if he's on a one stop. And now we okay. Panis pits. We enter a bit of a risky zone because if someone pits, someone else pits. Alonso gets pit stop glitched which I would not like, but we are forced 
to do that because we don't have any more fuel. I could put one more lap of fuel so that we have a bit more versatility and can avoid getting pit stop glitch in the second stop, which is when it's going to hurt the most. Okay, that's 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 that, that that's what we wanted ahead of Panis. Whatever happened with Montoya's lap, uh, his his out lap, it was terrible. He's also behind Panis now, which I mean it was expected, but then. All right, let's see who pits and if the pit crew gives us a good stop. Whoever's gonna pit with us, which means whoever's gonna be ahead. As long as Tela Rosa doesn't, okay, Tela Rosa doesn't pit, but whoever does pit, we don't get a pit stop error. Physical is gonna be ahead. That's fine. That's 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 perfectly fine. Okay, the pit stop was okay. From both, it was okay. Whoever's gonna be ahead, but I mean, it, 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 it's fine. It's fine. Don't need to protect from Bernoldi. But do try to catch up to Weber. We should have a few laps better, uh, a few laps of great tires that are better than Weber's. Maybe we can pass him then. If we can, that's excellent. If we can't, that's going to be sad. Anyway, I think I'll see you in lap 32 where I will do a half race report when Bernoldi pits. So I'll see you then. Just two little updates. Uh, Michael Schumacher is not one stopping. Frensen is. And second of all, please Bernoldi, stop it. And second of all, I let Bernoldi through. The reason for that is that Bernoldi pits on lap 32 and has far less fuel than Alonso has. Also, he set his tires on fire for whatever reason. I, 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 I. Anyway, let's see if Bernoldi can actually catch up to Weber. I doubt it, though. Right, so it is Bernoldi's time to pit again, and I think it is the right time to do the health race report. So, on the lead right now, let's just use the race acceleration screen, dang it. Michael Schumacher in the lead, then you have David Coulthard, Rubens Barrichello is third, Fisichella... Physical is third, Barrichello is fourth, then you have Kimi Raikkonen in fifth, here he is. Six right now is Bernoldi, but let's wait until he pits. So we can do things right. Right. So sixth is Weber, seventh is Alonso, eighth will be Panis, ninth is Stella Rosa. They had a good pit stop. Ninth is Stella Rosa, tenth is Frensen, eleventh is Ralph. Uh, like I said, Frensen in the end is on a one-stop, but he's going to be on a very slow one-stop because he pit early. So we just have to get past uh, Ralph, get past him, and then make as big a gap as possible. So there is that. The current situation is that uh, Alonso is terribly slow, but he's still in position to overcut Weber if he has to pit very early. Other than that, I think we're going to finish 7th, Unless there are some like DNFs out there. Also, Frenzo made a mistake, which means Bernoldi is just there. Maybe he can get a move on. Let's let's not wear out the brakes, because the brakes suffer in this track plenty for some reason. Even though they shouldn't, this is not like one of those tracks where the brakes suffer a ton. Similar with Spain, the Sp in Spain the brakes don't suffer that much, but in this game they do for whatever reason. Bernoldi, you really, really need to get a move on. Also, Frenzen is making all kinds of mistakes. Or maybe not Frenzen, but Ralph. Or maybe... Bernoldi, I saw you making the animation of overtaking. Please complete the move. We cannot let Ralph Schumacher get, a, get, get too far away, please. Thank you. Okay. So, Frenzen is now... Not a problem. Now the problem is going to be catching up and passing Ralph Schumacher as well as dealing with uh, this bug marker here. We will deal with that later, don't worry. So I'll see you when, you know, more interesting stuff is happening. Ooh dear. Ooh dear, we have raid now. This was not in the cars. I was uh, subconscious. I was in the back of my mind. I had the idea of, you know, rain will be kind of interesting. It, 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 I, it will, I will like rain, because that means hardware is not going to be that much of an issue. And, you know, here we have rain. 
So that could play a part in this race. There's very low wind speed, so it, the, the wind is not going to carry the, the, the rain away from the track, so maybe the last 10 or so laps get very interesting indeed. So I ended up bringing Alonso in a lap earlier than I had planned. The reason for that is that I was scared that one of these uh, gentlemen was going to pit with Alonso and pit stop glitch him to hell and back. So... No, I did not want that. Maybe, maybe in the end uh, they will have pit later, but I'd rather not risk it. Besides, good job, Josh Stappen. Great job. Besides, uh, maybe it's going to, you know, th th maybe rain's gonna fall and it's gonna screw up everyone. So there's that. Also, David Coulthard is gonna pit very late and Michael Schumacher pit very early. So my, uh, David Coulthard in the end is probably gonna win this race. Next is Bernoldi's uh, time to pit, so you know what, let's cut to that. Okay, it is now Bernoldi's time to pit, so let's see how it goes. He's probably not finishing in the points unless the rain does its thing. Also, it's looking like it will be a straight up fight between Zemichael and Coulthard for the win. P3, I think it's gonna be physical. Like, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be physical. Or no, Rubens came out ahead of Fizzy. Okay, it's gonna be a straight up fight for between those two. Right. So this doesn't threaten our championship position uh, positioning. The pit crew had a perfect day. Five pit stops, and they did not screw up. The thing is, I. If we have to pit again, it's gonna be more than five pit stops. Come on, be ahead, be ahead. Good, good. He was ahead of, of, of Ralph. And remain ahead of Ralph, please. Right, okay. So the only thing he has to do now is catch the Benettons and maybe he can finish, goodbye Jordan. Maybe he can finish P8. Also, both Jordans DNF, both with sauce breaks. Sad thing about those Jordans, man, sad things. Also, track driving is at, 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 at 3. When did it change? It changed a while ago. You know what? Let's let Coulthard do another lap. Let's let Coulthard do another lap. And then I'm going to cut the recording until either the rain stops and I break to you the sad news. Or, or when it actually gets wet and then I break to you the I hope is good news. So... Yeah, I was gonna cut it now. Let's wait. So I'll see you. Let's see. Let, actually, let, 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 stop talking. <laughs> okay, let's see. Coolhart's gonna cross the line and. Will it be wet? It will not be wet. In any case, before cutting the recording here, I will put some intermediate tires on the boys. And that will be that. Anyway, I will see you later. So, first things first, um, there was a power outage, there was another blackout, which means I have to redo... Don't, don't, don't do that. Sure, whatever. Put one extra fuel so we can actually push. Uh, well, what I was saying is that there was a blackout, and that means I lost uh, pretty much the entirety of the recording. I had I, I I was saying goodbye at the point electricity decided to cut out and then it cut out and now I have to do all of this again. So it did start to rain as expected. It could have you know been on the verge of rain and then stop raining, which would have been uh, upsetting. I made sure Bernoulli took advantage of the little glitch. If the glitch is there, I'm gonna take advantage of that, especially in these conditions. Also, the win will be decided by whoever pits. If DC pits, he wins. If Michael pits, he wins. Let's see. Both pit, okay. So it will be decided by whoever can race harder. Let's see who, who, who can race harder. Maybe Ferrari. Ferrari actually got... Michael actually got ahead in the... In the, in the, in the... What's the term I'm looking for here? Uh... Oh, come on, you can do it. Ferrari, okay, Michael actually got ahead in the pit lane. That's, he might as well win this race, you know? 
Now he might win this race. Second is gonna be, I don't know who's gonna be second. Who's second right now? Rubens. Rubens is right here. That's Rubens? Where's Rubens? I, 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 I lost Rubens. I forgot to bring Bernold into the pit. It's fine. It's, 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 it'll be fine. Not everything is lost. Let's see. Michael is starting to make a gap to DC, so that's so Michael's probably gonna win now. Let's see. If Michael turns this into a wet track, then Bernoldi is winning. Because I'm gonna be able to bring him in for the proper tire and so on and so forth. If not. And we are in the if not situation, I think I just bring him in for. Put him on the right tire. Put him on inters. Like, never mind that. Never mind about everything. Just put him on inters and it should be perfectly fine. And if it turns into very wet, we just let him ride out the situation. Alonso, though. Alonso does need to. To bid for very wet if it comes down to that. Because he's gonna have the extra pace. Yeah, you come in. Come in. And Alonso overtakes people. That's good. That's always helpful. Ronaldo pits. Someone else. That Jaguar is gonna be That BAR is going to pit. So I just accidentally screwed over Ronaldi. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I completely screwed that up. Everyone is pitting now. This is horrible. I'm 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 sorry, Rick. I'm so sorry. Don't turn it to very wet, thank you. He's a lap down now. But I just hope he can climb up some spots. Maybe finish eight. Let's see who is eight? Weber. No, it's not gonna happen. It's unlikely to happen now. There was a chance for some points there, but I completely forgot that I had to push the pit button again. So I just screwed over Bernoldi, which is unfortunate. He could have more points, but he's not going to have them now. It is what it is, man. You, 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 you try for success, and if it doesn't work, you, 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 you just are sad. Right. Might as well stay here. Might as well just stay here until the end of the race. It's like... What else am I supposed to do? I mean, the end of the race is going to be in like five so five or so laps. So might, might, might as well just keep everything on camera. You know, you, so you can capture my, my, my pain and misery. I was gonna say, if it turns into very wet, we can put a loss on the very wet, on the on the wet and wetter tires, but uh, he will not be able to catch Rubens or Fisichella, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he will not be able to. Which is unfortunate. Also, who's behind him? Kimi, right? Yeah, it's Kimi. But if it happens, we're going to have to respond by putting the proper tire. So there's that. I mean, we were going to finish 7th and 10th. So 5th and 11th. <laughs> I guess it's better, but it is not better for me because... <laughs> where is... The, okay, those are the Benettons there. Also, I forgot to mention, the pit crew had a perfect clean weekend so far. Like, I don't think we're pitting again. No, we're definitely not pitting again. The pit crew had a perfect job this weekend. No errors at all. Just absolutely solid work by, by, by the crew. <sighs> again, who's 8? De La Rosa. Yeah, I, I doubt he's finishing 8. And we're not using wet tires either, so there's that. Alonso at the very least is gonna finish on the lead lap, so that's 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 a reason to be happy, I suppose. Was it, uh, okay, there is there's Frenzen. I was gonna say, where in the world is Heinz Frenzen? But he is just hidden 
behind some behind some other cars. Alonso is just dealing with a bug marker there, so he's 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 perfectly fine. And Alonso just passed that Spanish. Yeah, that's Spanish. The Bernal gaming. Bernoldi passes Spanish, who apparently had some sort of issue. He just dropped back at home. Now we just need to catch De La Rosa, and I think that's as high as we'll go. And Michael does not turn it into very wet, which is, you know, fine by me. We're actually catching Weber, but I don't think we're catching fast enough to for it to be relevant. Like, Weber's all the way over here. Here is Bernoldi. We're, no, 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 no. It's just three laps to go. We're not going to catch him. Sad. Well, <clears throat> the takeaways from this is that I'm still a terrible team manager because I forgot to bring him into the pits. Uh, Bernoldi, I mean. And that Michael is going to win in a Ferrari on Italy, which is always big, as you know, as it happened with Mr. Fisichella in the previous Italian Grand Prix. He was that, that that was a very good moment. Yeah, I think that's about it. There's like not that many amazing positives because we're still not that great. We're still like the the fifth, sixth, fast, uh, fifth fastest car because we have Ferrari, McLaren, Williams, Benetton, and BAR. Where we are the sixth fastest car, we are putting some amazing results that are not indicative of our sixth fastest car ranking. Don't worry, that will improve and our first upgrade will hit in, in Spain. Which is a positive because we need to improve this for these performances. We've been having a lot of luck to be able to be in these point scoring positions. <clears throat> like that podium last race. Here's Michael Schumacher winning the San Marino Grand Prix and now it turns into very wet. I don't really care anymore at this point. Like it just doesn't matter. Um, our performances have been very lucky. A bunch of people DNFing, some people underperforming, mostly, mostly Benetton and BAR and Williams as well. <clears throat> but it needs to turn from lucky performances to unmerit performances. Mark Webber, good job. What? Why? Oh, he's blocking Michael Schumacher. Okay. <laughs> that, 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 that's something interesting. Okay. Um, these performances need to turn from lucky to unmerit. And the only way to make them unmerited performances is bringing tons and tons of upgrades. We're going to start doing that in Spain. Here he is to Alonso finishing 5th, solid. And Bernoldi finishes 10th, which, yeah, he did not move at all. That's my fault. He could have finished 7th or 8th. But you live and learn. So, the Michael wins from DC. As soon as he took the lead in the wet, he was gone. Despite DC probably being the better overall driver. Fisichella third, with Barrichello fourth, Alonso is fifth, Raikkonen sixth, Weber seventh, De La Rosa a lap down is eighth, Frensen ninth, and Bernoldi tenth, thanks to Mike Mistakes. Here is the rest of them. The rest of them? A few DNS. You have the Jordans, the Sauber, Binardi, and the Jaguar of Bertie. Unfortunately for Trulli, for our new Italian hero. So this is still in the lead, just a 6 point gap to the Michael with Fiskella 14 points behind. And then that's 18 points to Alonso. Yeah, Alonso is not challenging for this title. Ronaldi is 7 with 9 points. I think we can beat Weber. I think we can finish this championship in 4th. Or even third, depending on how bad physical performs. Like, if he does like he did in the Tyrrell Challenge, where my block series, we're going to beat him. Because physical, even though he was the better rated driver, compared to his teammate, Nick Heidfeld, Heidfeld kept winning the championship and the races over physical. Like, it, it, it was absurd. So, Ferrari maintained a very small lead, 48, uh, have a very small lead, 48 over 47. We're 25, we're 
23 points behind Ferrari. We're not going to fight for the Constructors title. We're going to just uh, hold the fourth in third place. I'm happy with holding third place. So we made a million in profits, Jesus Christ. Okay, that means we can spend a ton more money than I've been doing so far. For those ready to sign, Steve Giles have signed with us and we gotta start working in the commercial department, that's very good. Upgrades. <clears throat> we'll use research testing, do not worry. No back. Uh, just the guys complaining. Uh, new spares, we're gonna get some spares, I know. Uh, Parmalat with the support, Marlboro, Michelin, Reynolds. Uh, Northall not going that well. Those deals are not supposed to go that well anyway. Hospitality, I don't care about hospitality. Uh, we found a driver aid, okay, we need to check that out. Some points, and yeah, at least they finished the race. Ferrari's going with West. At least they're not going with Marlboro, That's, that would have broken my heart. Uh, Michael with another race win, Alonso fifth. Both drivers in the podium for Ferrari, which is nice because Italy. Enrique unhappy with his car, no, he's unhappy with me. Villeneuve is going to Ferrari. Williams has signed Nick Heidfeld, probably for the test driver role. But what did the sign Villeneuve for? <clears throat> they probably signed him for a driver's seat. I think they signed him for a driver's seat. So the only option now for Michael <clears throat> will be to sign with Prost. Which will be awesome. Even if, you know, Michael is absurdly expensive, like, look at this. 25 million a year, he's probably gonna ask for like 27, 28, 30 million. His ratings are declining a bit, but he's still awesome. The little, the little issue is that he is German, not French. That's a little problem right there. If instead of the Michael, it was a lazy, who unfortunately signed a forever deal with Sauber, He's also 38, Jesus Christ, they're all... Had it been a lazy, I would have signed him right away. It would have been a, an entirely French team. But instead, we are living in a universe where Michael Schumacher will not have a seat for 2004. So Giles with us. Issues, uh, not issues, but uh, power breaks for Jaguar. Active suspension for Williams and Sauber. We are spying on other cars, that's good. We are the seventh ranked manager for whatever reason. Right, so develop that, develop that, and start working on more throttle. Yeah, work on throttle. I was gonna say work on suspension. We bring that for Monaco, but the limiting factor in Monaco is gonna be our driver's stamina, so. It's, it's not worth it. So keep working on throttle. Use that research. Construct the component. We have an easy 5%. That's 62%. Nice. Two there. Remember, we just need three. So I'm going to have to save scum a bit so that this in the CFD simulation just give us one. Here, one point. That's fine. And nearly there. That's perfectly fine. Upgrade the 2003 chassis. Upgrade technology. Build a spare part and build another car. We're not going to be able to fully repair both cars with three spares. So I do my usual running in, in setup. I need to remind myself. I do my usual running. Then I repair the cars. That means the cars are completely fresh. But we, we run out of spares. It should be fine. Okay, the only two team sponsors are Marlboro and Lucky Strike. That means we really need to hurry up with this Marlboro deal. Unfortunately, I think I'm going to back down on the Renault deal for now. It would have been nice if we had, like... What's... What am I looking for? Uh, advantages? But I desperately need... The Marlboro deal. I don't think we're gonna have enough time to course correct to Lucky Strike. So, just gonna put double the personnel for Marlboro. That's gonna give us two blocks, two blocks, and if we get an advantage, we get this deal done on Monaco. Assuming no one else is going for them. Then we focus on Reynolds, then on everyone else. 
what do we bring? I want to bring, uh, instead of PSN, I want to bring Marlboro. Yeah. Doesn't look like anyone's talking with Marlboro, which is good. Now, what do we find? We found power brakes. Can we get them? Our chief mechanic has copied Williams's power brakes. Now, even more important, can we get them FIA approved? Yes. Okay, so we're gonna get power brakes. And we can keep working on traction control, which is awesome. So, for the next episode, we're going to build those power brakes after Spain. They're gonna be ready for Monaco. And maybe we can build traction control as well. For Monaco, I mean. Yeah, I think that's about it. The only thing that's left to see is the FIA funding ranking, which were third, which, of course, we were going to be third. Anyway, I think that's it. At least electricity is not going to uh, screw this one up. I re Save the game. Be prick of it. I hope you really enjoyed this one. Hope to see you on the next one. Remember, we got Spain and Monaco on the next one. Hope you enjoyed. Okay, it was not electricity this time around. But it was just my computer being stupid. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Comment, like, subscribe, the usual YouTuber stuff. And coffee is down there in case you want to support this. And I'll see you on the next one. Actually, I forgot something real quick. Um, I offered Alonso the deal again. So the deal, this deal is ready to sign. I got him. He's secure. And there's no one else, nowhere else to go. Which is why he's accepted. So, thank you, Airplane. I really appreciate it. So, I'm going to sign Bordeaux on the test driver role, and I'm going to sign Alonso to the second seat. That means he's going to be demoted to the second seat, which is, you know, maybe makes him a bit upset, but I don't care. Panis is French. Alonso is not French. So, we're going to keep Alonso. It's going to be a, not going to be an entirely French lineup. Uh, I'm pretty sure some in French uh, in France will have this will have like Bordeaux in the test in the driver's seat. But you know what? Alonso has done a good job and he's a paid driver, so we're gonna get, take advantage of that. Unless I decide to like instead of him being a paid driver, I give him an actual salary to make things a bit more difficult. We'll see. Anyway, I'll see you on the next one now.